here today. He said they beat us and made us enjoy it. Like you said, Matt, the key to the game is to contain setter Kelvin Samuel, who happens to be seven feet, Matt. All right, Shelby, we're underway with the Jaguars in their red uniform starting on offense. Jags 88-81, or make that 68-61. Second round winners over App State, the number nine seed, and that was on Thursday. So they've had a day off. Down to five on the shot clock already. Inside they go to Samuel with three seconds, two seconds, and the jump hook and an air ball. Interesting. He looked up at the other end right when he caught the ball to see the shot clock. May have hurried him a little bit because it was counting down. And here come the Golden Eagles at 25-6, and six, also the fewest regular season losses since the 1990-91 season. It has been a memorable, historic, and spectacular season for Coach Jay Ladner's team. And here's the BuyB1.com starting lineup for the Jaguars. Jones, Moore, Samuel, White, and Brown. Isaiah Moore had 20 points in their victory against App two days ago. All Sunbelt first teamer who averaged 18 points per game in the regular season. The drive and the flip and the miss. And Samuel gets the offensive rebound. Tipped it to himself, kept it alive, gives him another possession. Judah Brown sinks the three-pointer. Brown gave them a big lift a couple days ago. Doesn't play as many minutes as some of the other starters, but they're going to need him. Starting lineup for the Golden Eagles. Crowley, first team all Sun Belt. Arnold, Harris, Pinckney, third team all Sun Belt. And Hase. The jumper and the miss. Offensive rebound underneath by Harris. And a miss again. Not a block by Kevin Samuel, but an alter by Kevin Samuel. Judah Brown off the back iron. Everybody's Rebound a little nervous. by Harris. Everybody's a little nervous. Get up and down the floor a couple times. Get into it. Southern Miss hadn't played in eight days. Three-pointer. Golden Eagles have missed their first four shot attempts. Owen White, who had some big shots, big three-pointers, the clutch three-pointer late in that game against App, gets in there, misses with the left hand, battles for the ball, and last touch by the Jaguars. Coach, let's take a look at your bank plus keys to the game. Well, you look at the Jaguars, heavy is good. They played a lot of guys, a lot of minutes in that first game, between 30 and uh, 38 minutes, but they all scored in double figures, so the heavy minutes doesn't bother them. For the Golden Eagles, don't complicate it. They play hard, they play together, they won 11 out of their last 13 games, and obviously regular season champs. Do best what you do most. First turnover by either team. Southern Miss off to a little bit of a slow start here. We're nearly three minutes in. We've had one shot go down. South Alabama, you mentioned the heavy minutes, the short rotation for Coach Richie Riley's team against App State. It's kind of negated a little bit by the fact they got a day off yesterday. True, very true. It's not back-to-back -back games. Jones misses the three-point shot. Rebound cleared by Pinckney. And they won, so he's going to do it again, I would imagine. Long three-point attempt by Pinckney. And an 0-5 start for the Golden Eagles. A little sluggish here. The runner by Harris, no whistle. Just run him down the court as fast as you can. Get a little winded. Takes the nerves out. Jones dishes the white underneath, draws contact, and one. Trolley's going to be called for the foul. Drive down the middle, no help. The dish off to white. Great shot fake. Gets a defender in the air which happened to be Austin Crowley. Chance for an and one. Owen White. Owen White at the line, 6'6", 215, grad transfer. He's out of Rhinelander, Wisconsin. Started his career at Michigan Tech. Earned his mechanical engineering degree. He completes the three-point play. Averages eight and a half points a game. A lot of D2 transfers in this league that are really good players. There's such a fine line between one and two. Well, we three go. knocks it down, and Southern Miss has their first basket as Hase sinks the jumper. He can do that repeatedly. Get in his face, he'll go by you, and he's a very willing passer as well. 
He kind of runs the show from the high post. That's the way they run their offense. A point forward, if you will. He's the number three three-point shooter in the conference, just under 42%. Lob inside for Samuel, puts it on the floor against Hase, and goes right to the rack and banks it in. Interesting job. He caught, they threw it kind of over his head, and the pass led him to that dominant left hand, and that was an easy one. Kevin Samuel is our Jersey Mike's player of the game against App. He had six blocks in that game, in addition to a double-double. Even had three steals. Ball on the floor, speaking of steals, and the Jags got themselves one. Isaiah Moore. Might have been a pass attempt for Kevin Samuel. Isaiah Moore gets a lot of his points in the paint. Look out. Hase, another wing three. This one off the back iron. Offensive rebound and stick in by Harris. Would follow most shots. Go to the weak side. Harris was in a perfect position. Used the rim to stop a block from Kevin Samuel. Samuel got a layup. Denage Harris, a junior out of Columbus, Mississippi, averaging eight and a half points per game. One of the guys who stuck with the program through a seven-win season last year. Coach Ladner, very complimentary of he and Pinckney for not leaving to seek greener pastures. Judah Brown with the left hand. Banks it in. Great start for South Alabama. They're up by five. Judah Brown hit the outside shot and then a little shot fake. Got the defender in the air. Blew by everybody for a layup. Kevin Samuel couldn't get there. Double team runs at, nearly threw it away. Crowley, three-pointer off the iron. Southern Miss has started one for four behind the arc and two for ten overall. Moore bounces pass. inside for Samuel, had his shot blocked. Better block, great pass, better block. The blocker got his shot blocked. Harris the drive, and he ends up on the deck. We'll have a foul called on Samuel. How about that? Harris caps Samuel. Conference Joe Godfrey, coach of the year. You saw Richie Riley. You heard Shelby tell you before the game started, they were friends going back to their Southline Conference days, had some real big battles. Nichols State, that was the home of Richie Riley. Jay Ladner was at Southeast Louisiana before returning to his alma mater to coach the Golden Eagles. He is the first Conference Coach of the Year for the Golden Eagles since Larry Eustachie won it back in 2012 when they were in Conference USA. Harris knocks down the free throws. It's a 10-7 game. A little pressure. Wear out this young man because he's the key to making them go. Isaiah Moore scores a lot of points in the lane. Number four score in the Sun Belt Conference, 18 and a half points per game. He's top five in the nation in field goals in the paint. Extraordinary for a young man who's six feet tall. He just finds a way to get it off. That's usually a big man stat. They got the biggest too, Kevin Samuel. Despite their two for 10 shooting start, Southern Miss can tie it with a three here. Nearly threw it away and they do. Owen White beat him to the ball and White misses the dunk and it, then it goes through. I thought it was gonna bounce out. Was not the most artistic dunk. He's not Mac McClung by any stretch of the imagination. No. And South Alabama leads by five. A little scrub dunk, but South, uh, Southern Miss got a little too fancy with the backwards pass. Owen White, right place, right time, took it all the way. And a turnover as Harris throws it out of bounds and over the bench. A little fancy, too fancy with the pass. Owen White with the dunk. Oh, okay, maybe not, maybe <laughs> yes, and it rolls in. He'll take the two. They'll take the two. So four turnovers so far for the Golden Eagles. And this pressure is not to steal the ball. It's just to wear them out a little bit. It's cumulative. They can turn up the pressure much later in the basketball game or much later in the half. Golden Eagles usually take care of the basketball fairly well. They're fourth in the conference with fewest turnovers per game. Now down to nine on the shot clock. Scrum for the ball. And who's on top of it? Jump ball is going to be the call. 
So it will be the Golden Eagles ball. Mo Arnold got in Isaiah Moore's face, really challenged him, chested up to him. And Isaiah Moore got a little mad and tried to take it one-on-one and uh, lost the basketball, didn't lose the possession. South Alabama 17-15 and 15 on the season. They finished 9-9 nine and nine in the regular season in the Sun Belt, the number eight seed. And this is not the first time we've heard this complaint about the ball being slippery. So it's not a slippery issue. It is a blood issue. Well, the blood makes it slippery. I've watched a lot of cop shows. It's a good one. <laughs> Easier in cleaning it off because then you got the cleaning fluids. Just switch them up. Although, if it stays on there long enough, it'll become Stick. tacky and very sticky. So uh, That's a true point. So a five-point lead, South Alabama. Golden Eagles battling through a tough shooting start so far in this game. Hase underneath on the dish. Great from job. Crowley. They waited at the elbow until they got a cross screen for Hase coming off, and he got an uncontested layup. Excellent execution. Hase is out of Chile by way of Miami Christian, South Carolina, and Mercer. This is his third stop on the collegiate tour. Samuel hasn't touched it in a couple possessions. Need to get him to rock. Owen White with the left-handed three from the wing, and Harris snags the rebound. Denaje Harris has been the most active guy on the floor for the Golden Eagles. Four points and seven rebounds here in the opening eight-plus minutes. Crowley, the transfer from Ole Miss, goes down in a heap. That's going to be another turnover and a kick. Did they call a foul? I believe they have called a foul on Crowley. Lucas Santos, Sean Seals, Derek Schulte, the officials working this first quarter final of the day. South Alabama shooting 36% from the floor, but that's better than Southern Miss 27% right now. Inside they go, and Kearing with the basket. Marshall Kearing in there for Samuel. Don't skip a beat. Get him the ball. Easy layup. Marshall Kearing, the junior out of Perth, Australia, by way of State College of Florida. Averages just three points per game. Doesn't play a lot either. Just ten minutes a game. Well, that's what happens when Felipe Hase hits a couple threes. You get in his face. Owen White did, and he got fouled. He got mauled as he went by him. But he's capable of going by you. And then, like I said in the opening, he's a really willing passer as well. He can score from all three levels very effectively. That'll be the second team foul on South Alabama, just one on Southern Miss so far. Same block the box screen, get it to him inside. Hase working against Owen White, going to have to give it up. Good defense by White. Crowley sinks the three-pointer. Maybe that'll get the lid off the basket for Southern Miss. Crowley. Transfer from Ole Miss, averaging 16.4 points per game, which is fifth best in the Sun Belt. That's why people want to play inside out. You throw it in, the defense contracts, trick it out to Crowley. The uh, closeout's late. Carrying spin move and right through the wicket for Judah Brown. Kick it out. Rotate the basketball. You can't dare anybody to shoot a three in this league. They're too good at it. Crowley stuck it. Golden Eagles were right in the middle of the pack shooting the three this year. They were eighth in the conference, 33%. Crowley, however, was one of their better ones. In fact, led them 2.1 threes per game, which was sixth best in the conference. And 47% overall, 36% behind the arc. Two-point lead, South Alabama. Harris got pushed. You can see they're making a concerted effort to get the ball in the paint either by the pass or the dribble and then kick it back out that time. Parham, who did not start the other night because they said he had an issue at the end of warm-ups, but Coach Raleigh told us he's 100% ready to go today. Greg Parham did not get in the Parham did not get in the game until late in the second half. In the second half, his knee locked up on him when he went up for a dunk in pregame warm-ups. Young man from VMI, was an all-conference player there. He has just really struggled with injuries his two seasons with South Alabama. 
Two on the shot clock. Got to do something with it. The shot is blocked. Isaiah Moore blocks the shot of Mo Arnold as it leaves his hands. I'll be a little more cognizant of that shot clock. They waited till the last second. Arnold had no choice. And that young man, Isaiah Moore, made the perfect defensive play. Six turnovers for Southern Miss. They averaged just 11 a game. Fourth in the conference and fewest turnovers per game. But they've been a little bit of a rocky start for the regular season champs, but plenty of time to recover. Great Isaiah fade. Moore, great shot fade. With the defender up in the air, you win. And he's very capable of making that bucket. I don't know if it's the Jaguars defense or the fact that South Alabama is just not 100% in sync yet, but it could be a little bit of both. Pinkney inside. How about that angle? Just shot it high up into the air, and it fell through the hoop. There's no angle. Just a really good shot. Jones of wing three. And great effort by South Alabama. Can't save it in the corner. Southern Miss comes down a chance to tie or take the lead. Lob inside for Pinkney. Game tied. Great pass by Hassett. Boy, talk about pinpoint passing right to his hands. Hase's just a complete player in addition to 15 and a half points per game and six rebounds, three assists per game. Leads him in blocks. Just been a great pickup for them. Top of the circle three-pointer. Kearing had the offensive rebound swatted out of his hands by Mo Arnold. Golden Eagles come down the floor, a chance to take the lead. Well, they missed crowd into it after that last bucket. Now a stop. Little horns action. Pinkney, backdoor cut to Harris. He's guarded underneath there and uses his body to muscle it up and in. Southern Miss leads for the first time today. Najee Harris, very smart. Knew he had a smaller player on him. Kind of backed into him as he jumped in the air. And an easy one. Southern Miss is back in this basketball game. Southern Miss starting to look more and more like the regular season champions that they are. Playing much better after that first time out. I and mean, we, we went over six minutes before we first had our first dead ball timeout, about two minutes more than you usually go. But since that timeout, they've calmed down. Inside, we have a foul on Moore. Great hesitation move. We'll be at the line when we return. Golden Eagles start to soar in Pensacola. They got a two-point lead. That's a big question. Why am I going to join a team yep, that just won seven games last year? So you really got to recruit them, and you got to pitch it to them that you got something special going on. And Coach says, look, I knew from day one that we were going to be better. We had a talent, more talented team. There's no question about that. But I would be disingenuous if I told you I thought we were going to do what we ultimately did. Or that, or you got to be insane to say we're going to have a 19-game improvement. And he's very humble about it. He's very honest about it. And he's very grateful as well. Four-point lead for Southern Miss. He says they just kept adjusting their goals, Coach. They went, okay, let's have a winning season. Yep. Okay, let's win 20 games. All right, let's win 25 games. Let's win the regular season title. They hit all of them, checked all the boxes. And I'm sure they readjusted again, and they want to lift the trophy at the end of this week. In there, and the floater and the miss by Parham. On Monday night. Golden Eagles on an 8-0 run over the last couple of minutes. They do not play with a lot of pace. They play with a lot of execution. Hase wants to get it right there and run the offense from there. South Alabama's gone over two and a half minutes now without scoring. That's going to be a foul on Jones as he hacked Crowley. Give and go. It's a simple play. Throw it in to number 22, Hase. Cut off him. You have a half a step advantage as Crowley did. You get to the rim and you get fouled. Jones picks up his first personal foul. Five team fouls now on South Alabama. Two minute and 39 second scoring drought for the Jaguars have enabled the Golden Eagles to rally from at what point was a 16-12 deficit. They now lead 21-16. Grabbed on his right shoulder. It's a smart foul to stop the bucket. Make him earn them both. Crowley's one of these guys that they recruited in. He entered the transfer portal where he was playing at Ole Miss, a friend of uh, Jay Ladner, Kermit Davis, who just recently was let go by the Rebels as the head coach. But Crowley was just looking for more playing time. 
Here comes low pressure. They called it in the free throw. They trapped at half court last time. They got a lead. They want to put their foot on their throat. I don't blame them. They try to extend it. Dribble drive gets in there deep and then lost the ball. Popped up out of his hands. Got a mismatch if they give it to Sam and they just switch back. Really smart play, but great pass from Jones to Samuel who finishes it off at the rim. Smart play to switch back, but when you're seven foot two sixty, you win most of those battles around the rim. That ends the scoring drought for the Jaguars. They're down four, under six to play here in the first half. Arnold stops and pops. And Samuel had the rebound, and the Jaguars chase it down. You got to put a body on him, and then you got to move him. That's a tough task, talking about Kevin Samuel. He has the ability to reach over people without fouling him to keep a rebound alive. White at the elbow. Down to six on the shot clock. And the rebound controlled by Pinckney. Jaguars shooting. In there, Harris. Denage Harris. Big first half, eight points and seven rebounds in 15 minutes for Denage Harris. They started out slow, but they have definitely picked up the pace as far as making buckets. He's already at his per game average. Underneath, White got lost on the defense. A pump fake, trying to get a foul on Hase, and he got it. And a hand one situation coming up. He's just too big and too strong, Kevin Tim. A great pass into him, little bounce pass to go up with authority and slam it home. Samuel, four points and three rebounds so far today. Monster performance in the win against App. Double-double, six blocks, three steals. Coach Richie Riley told us that was, you know, the most urgency he's seen Kevin Samuel play with in a long time. And you see that now from these seniors and fifth-year seniors and graduate and sixth-year seniors. They know the end of the road's coming. Yeah, they, they realize sometime during the season that this is it. It's a good time to realize it during the tournament. Well, this really is it. Hase backing in against White, banging bodies, steps down low to the baseline and missed it. Broke really off. difficult angle, really tough angle. Good defense by Owen White. Ball got knocked out of Samuel's hands. It'll be the Jaguars' ball when we get back. He's played all 16 minutes, three of six from the floor, two of two at the line. He's number seven in the conference in field goal shooting. Commissioner Keith Gill gave them the regular season trophy before the game and then when they were done taking pictures, Commissioner asked for it back. He wanted to give it back to him. <laughs> so, but he finally did. And turnover for South Alabama. Fourth turnover of the half for the Jaguars. Isaiah Moore just got stonewalled on the baseline. Had no place to go with it. Richie Riley, 92-66 and 66 in his fifth season as the Jaguars head coach. 127 victories overall in seven seasons as a head coach. You can see Southern Miss wants the ball to touch Felipe Hasi's hands every possession. He doesn't have to shoot it, but he's got to touch the basketball because he's such a good passer. And, and we an have offense. an offensive foul on Southern Miss. Isaiah Moore, right place at the right time, helping out. It's not his man. Well, it is his man. Excuse me. He got in front of the, the, the uh, Donovan Ivory. That's a really good play. He got beat, and he got in front of him and drew the charge. You saw Kevin Samuel at the end of that kind of winced. I don't know if he got his foot stepped on or something. Donovan Ivory was called for the foul. The Golden Eagles are playing today without Neftali Alvarez. He was a late scratch. He's got a lower leg injury. You can see him on the bench wearing a boot on his left leg, but he will not be available at all today. Jones on the drive. Missed the layup. Got twisted around on that drive. Southern Miss comes down the floor. Less than three now to play in the half. Hase strokes the three-pointer. 
He's cool, calm, and collected, and he's really good from behind the line. He's really good at everything he does. He's number three in the conference in three-point shooting, number five in free throw shooting, averages right at two threes per game, which is a great number in college basketball. Got a huge been there, done that factor, John. He's fired up. Look at Hase. Well, when you get a six-footer going out on um, Felipe Hase at 6'9", and you contest the shot, it's not going to matter. Hase is out of Chile, as I said, and he got the, the, the big Latin American connection. He's from Miami Christian, where he was playing with now assistant coach Juan Cordona. He was recruited to South Carolina, where Frank Martin, who's got deep ties to South yep. Florida, was the head coach. Ended up at Mercer, where Cordona was. And then Cordona, when he changed jobs, went to Southern Miss. Hase ended up following him to Hattiesburg. That is Coach Cordona. He is the defensive coordinator. And uh, Coach Ladner told us he's got the defense. And he is as enthusiastic as you can possibly be without getting teed up on the sideline. The kids love him. That man loves him. And uh, next time down the floor, for a split second if you're watching, look at that guy second from the top of the bench. He will be into it. So Moore hits the free throw. Yeah, he tr he is a true defensive coordinator much like a defensive coordinator in football or a defensive line coach in football I man he is a he is an emotional spark you oftentimes on the football sideline you'll see those defensive coaches they're up in the players and they're banging on their pads cordona is a lot like that only it's basketball slapping the floor he's got a towel around his neck because he sweats like a crazy man because he's running like the whole time four point lead southern miss Pinckney rises up for the three. Moore has the rebound. Skip pass to White. Owen White. Pinckney grabs the rebound. They don't run a lot. They're running opportunities. Perez inside the circle. <laughs> Samuel the rebound. From that same high school, Miami Christian Perez was in there for about 11 seconds and put it up. I don't know if that's what Coach wanted. Looking hard. That's what they want to do. Reversing the defense and reach in. Samuel stays with it, bangs it hard off the glass. Big time defense by Turbo Jones to hang in there against a much bigger player. Seventy seconds left in the half. Hase into a double team, passes underneath, and they turn it over. Eight turnovers for the Golden Eagles in the first half. And a foul is going to be called on Perez. He was riding Isaiah Moore. He's running down the floor. Very few fouls called in this basketball game so far. Five on each team after 19 minutes of play. Southern Miss that started off shooting the ball so poorly. They were two for ten. Have now hit seven of their last 12. Dre Pinkney on. Pinkney and the rebound the half. by Harris. Harris is going to end up close to a double-double at halftime. He's got eight and eight. Watch 22 in white. He's going to be a decision maker here. That's illegal. He was stationary, but his rear end wasn't. And he kind of stuck it out there and pop the defender that's a good call can't stick that booty out there like charles barkley no. that's a no-no just won them as a head coach with the golden state warriors the timeout called by southern miss was so that they could get their subs straight they wanted to make sure they got their subs in the game and they were not able to do that at the scores table so they called the timeout so that he could get the right personnel on the floor here for the final half minute of the first half norman playing down deep on kevin samuel so the miss will get the ball back unless there's an offensive rebound. There's a difference of eight seconds in the game clock and the shot clock here in the half. Back to White, open three, buried it. Donovan Ivory just went along with Isaiah Moore and forgot about a very good shooter right there. Owen White stuck it. Nice play from the bench by Coach Riley. 
Four seconds to go in the half. Crowley with two, rises up, hit the iron. That's the end of the half, about as tight as you could be. As the one seed. Najee Harris, he said, we matched our big Kevin Samuel up against him to get others working around Harris. He said, we have to be good at contacting early, keep them out of the paint, meet them outside of the paint, and not wait till they get inside. He said, I told my team, guys, we were down three a couple days ago. We're right there in this game. He said, whoever is going to be the toughest in this game is going to win at the end, Matt. Great stuff, Shelby. Thanks for that. Okay, tell you something, White. that Owen White three would have gone in. Yeah. I think Coach Ladder might have called timeout. That would have been end the half and start the half with a three by the guy you don't want taking open threes. Jags come away with it. Golden Eagles continue to have trouble with the turnover. That's 10 now. They're going to hit their season average. We're going to have 18 minutes to go in the basketball game. That's not the season average you want to hit. Nope. Great spacing, spreading out because you got big Kevin Chamberlain inside you want to get the ball to. Oh, he's White, wide open. Wing three, nailed it. Baseline Can't leave drive. Owen White open. Baseline drive, baseline drift, and then the additional pass to Owen White. Can't leave him. Let somebody else beat you. He's hot from outside. Back to back threes by White in this game have erased a four point deficit. They're trying to draw Kevin Samuel out of the post. He's not leaving. And the Golden Eagles, another turnover. Wow. Mo Arnold flying through the lane, wanted a touch pass to the corner. And the Golden Eagles uncharacteristically sloppy with the basketball. Their 11 turnovers have led to 12 South Alabama points. Opportunistic Jaguars taking advantage. Moore gets in the paint, shovels it up there, got fouled on the shot. He's so smart. Isaiah Moore most of the time goes in there in a couple shots. Like that time he took the shot before the defender was ready, kind of like a quick pitching baseball and got popped when he did. Watch this. You think he's going to pivot? Nope. He went up before you were ready and you hit him. He's such an extraordinary player. He received no college offers coming out of Flint Hill High School in Temple Hills, Maryland. Went and played at D2 Franklin Pierce. Entered the transfer portal. And Richie Riley picked him up for his South Alabama program. What a season he's had earning first team all Sun Belt honors. I can see, you know, in high school, a six foot one guy posting people up. But there's a role for that when you got a lot of other big players around and you take advantage of your mismatches. And he's really played well for Coach Riley. Foul's going to be called on Owen White. If he's Second up by first. 30, excuse me, you're down by 30. That's where you see Richie Riley on a knee right there at the sideline. See Owen White, he was in there tussling with Hase in the paint. That was the foul call. Oh, nice pass by Hase. Arnold got to do something with it. Harris close to traveling. Crowley close to traveling. Great pump fake by Crowley. Gets it back. Six on the shot clock. Crowley throws up a wild shot. Harris gets the rebound. Had it stolen away. And a foul called on Southern Miss in the backcourt. And this one's going to go against Harris. I don't care which way the arrow's pointing. Don't reach for that ball. Dive on the floor and get the basketball. Harris picks up his first personal, first personal, and now two fouls on the Golden Eagles here in the first two plus minutes of the half. Coach, Coach Riley senses that they can get a bunch of points here just because Southern Miss is not into it like they weren't into it in the beginning of the game. Got to take advantage of that. Get out of his way. White, another three off the iron this time. Pinkney ran out there and got in his face. Good recognition and pass by Kevin Samuel. Lob up top, and Samuel could not control the alley-oop. Eight on the shot clock, though. Jack still have it. Moore breaking down the defense. There's contact. No whistle. Turnaround jumper and miss, and Harris has another rebound. Knocked, they almost knocked him to the floor. Wing three, buried it. Huge three-pointer by Austin Crowley. Coach Ladner doesn't like something. He's going to stop it. Probably tell him. Pointers. Well, you talked about the sense of urgency for a lot of players, and they realize this is it. 
He's already graduated from college, and this is it. And he's one of 18 players in all of college basketball who is married. Well, it's got to be something. It's got to be one way or the other. I mean, he's bumping him. He's throwing his elbow in his chest. Something's got to be called there. Officials letting a lot of contact go here in the second half. The problem if you don't call it. And then they call a reach and foul on Crowley. Of course. The problem is he gets out of control because they figure I can get away with this and this, and it gets more and more contact. And I think this is what kind of frustrates coach sometimes. We see we see collisions on the floor, players bouncing off each other, no whistle. And then on this play right here, they call that a foul. Now he did get his hand. Officials defense, it's the right call. That's the right call. Did get his arm wrapped up in there. They saw the banging before that. Yeah. Nothing. I'm trying to get on white the ball. I don't blame him. White. Being guarded by Crowley, he's backing him down, gets in the paint, shovels up the left-handed hook. Crowley gets the rebound. A heat check, I don't like, I don't dislike that. Harris puts it on the floor, pulls up and hits it. Yeah, that's a tough matchup to send Kevin Samuel out there on Harris. He's one dribble, just got his shoulders past him. Once you get your shoulders past the defender, you win. Where would the Golden Eagles be today without Denage Harris? Ten points and nine rebounds. Stolen away by Harris. Jams at home. How about Denage Harris? Have yourself a day, young man. Only a junior, but knows what he's doing, knows the, the importance of this basketball game, and he's given his team a huge lift. Four-point lead for the Golden Eagles. The Harris and White show so far. Those are probably the guys that would be third or fourth on the on the list if you're picking. These will be the stars of the game Absolutely. for their particular team. Contact, no whistle, and it is going to be the Jaguars' ball. Here's your Hercules tire strong play of the game. Harris just gets it and beats everybody down the floor, anticipates the pass, gets a big bucket and a big dunk and a huge lift for the Golden Eagles. D.H. Keck with 12 points, nine rebounds, and a block shot. It's a good game. We got a long way to go in this one. 15 plus minutes to go in Southern Miss, the one seed trying to advance to the semifinals, as are the eight seed South Alabama Jaguars. How about Isaiah Moore? He's one for three from the floor, passes inside, and there you go, Samuel banks it in. He was open for about a second and a half before that. They keep running pick and rolls to Kevin Samuel. If he rolls when he opens his shoulder, you can't get around him. He's going to be open every time. You've got to get him the ball. The combination of Moore, Samuel, and Jones have taken just two more shots than Owen White combined. Those three guys combined. Arnold behind the arc in the miss, and White the rebound. I'd run the same thing again, pick a roll, and see what happens. Here it goes. Three-pointer, nailed it. Parham from behind the arc. He was a great shooter at VMI. He's a pretty good shooter here. He can kill you from deep. Jags back on top by a point. Parham just 32% though this year behind the three-point line. He's battled injuries. Pinkney goes up for the big slam and can't make it happen. Kevin Samuel, stopper. Judah Brown hits the three, and he was fouled on the play. When you watch an NBA game, Charles Barkley and Shaquille O'Neal call him the others. The others are tearing it up today. Judah Brown out there gets popped and big time chance for a four-point play with a little enthusiasm from the bench. Judah Brown has really been an instrumental piece for the Jaguars in their season turnaround. They began one and seven in the Sun Belt. They've won six of their last seven games, nine of their last 11. And Judah Brown, although he gets the four-point play here, Judah Brown was a guy that was so big for them as they turn their season around. Five point lead for South Alabama. They're on a 9 0 run. Southern Miss doesn't want to rush. Just get a good possession and a good shot. And Pinkney, let's see who the foul is going to go against. I believe Judah Brown right there coming around, uh, trying to keep up with Pinkney coming off that screen. 
there. He fights through it, but a little late on the whistle, but they still called it. Lock and trail. They don't switch a lot, South Alabama, especially on the uh, on the shooters. So the leading scorers in the game, Nate, are Owen White, Judah Brown, and Denaje Harris, just as you predicted. Oh, absolutely. The big-time scorers for each team. Arnold misses the three. It bounces off the top of the backboard. They keep it alive, and Harris... On the feed from Hase, who hustled and made that play happen. Offensive rebounds are about want, and he wanted to keep it alive, and they did. Just got to want it more than the others. They're sealing, yeah, you just got to want the basketball. Oh, what a fake. So they're trying to keep him out of the lane. More inside to Samuel. He got fouled. Pinkney picks up the foul. Keep it alive. Just keep it alive. You can see Hase does and has the presence of mind to know that his teammate is underneath the basket. Gives it to Harris and dunks it. Now, Nate, Hase is a guy that sometimes Coach Ladner will tell you passes too much. They want him to shoot yep. more. Now, that was a great pass right there. That was the, that was the right play by Hase. But they need Hase to kind of take things over here. Well, they normally run their offense, like I said, through him at the elbow, not at the low post. It's a pretty good foul simply because this big young man isn't a good free throw shooter at all, Kevin Samuel. 29% free throw shooter during the regular season. And that's why Kevin Samuel can't be on the floor late in the game. They're going to give call. the ball to the Jaguars. It went off curly, no question about it. So Kevin Samuel misses. They keep possession. Not reviewable, of course, with this much time left. Side out, White. Moore gets the floater. That's the first time he's been able to really do that today. He ate up. App State with 20 points that way on Thursday. I'm telling you, Matt, Kevin Samuel is so big by the time you run around him. Isaiah Moore's at the rim. Harris, floater, off the back iron, whistle. This is going to be on Samuel. Samuel picks up his second personal. And that's what Isaiah Moore does. He just gets in the lane and scores. Now, that was close to offensive interference. I thought somebody did touch it when I saw it live. I didn't think so, but watching the replay, that was darn close. Kind of surprised we didn't get more objection from the Southern Miss bench on that one. Harris hits the free throw. 14 points, now 15 points, nine rebounds for Denage Harris. There's the spin. You see he grabbed his hand going up. And seldom used Jeffrey Armstrong in for the Golden Eagles, number 20. What a huge performance for Denage Harris, young man out of Columbus, Mississippi High School. Started his college career at Southwest Mississippi Junior College. Very smart play for Isaiah Moore. New guy in the game, Jeffrey Armstrong. Tried to get in his face 90, 40, 90 feet away and he just didn't give Armstrong a chance to catch him, and he just kept driving and driving and driving to the basket, and he finally fouled him. That's smart. Isaiah Moore, kind of a quiet day so far. Seven points and 27 minutes of work. Does have four rebounds and four assists. See the great spacing by South Alabama, simply because Kevin Sanders is so big, you've got to give him room inside. Parham on the dribble out there. Skip pass to White in the corner. And the rebound by Pinckney. Eight boards for Pinckney. Crowley lost it out of bounds. Another turnover for the Golden Eagles. That's 12 of them now as they go over their per game average with still 12 minutes to play. He didn't pat himself on the chest, my fault. Just go off the Hase screen and make something happen. Don't be the hero. A lot of time left on the shot clock. Just keep the offense moving. South Alabama has converted those 12 turnovers into 13 points pending this possession.
Parham, floater, got the bounce. Let's just go make a play, young man. They spread it out. Smartly, Kevin Samuel went to the other block and gave Parham all the room in the lane. Jags have outscored the Golden Eagles 17-11 here in the half. Harris. Couldn't get it to go that time. Samuel bothered him. Didn't block it, but definitely made it tougher. Parham spin move. Left it short. Pinckney another board. Clears it to Crowley. Pick and pop. There he is. Behind the back, Hase. And a foul called on Samuel. A foul on Hase. Way out there on the wing, and that's going to be a three point free throw attempt for Hase when we come back from the time. Richie Riley said that took a little bit of time for him to find that confidence, but he has a great support system. He is one of 11 children and also married his high school sweetheart. Riley said he's extremely grounded and brings a lot to this South Alabama team. Matt. Thank you, Shelby. Where is his wedding band tied to his, the shoestrings, I believe, on his left sneaker? Correct. Yep. Can't wear the wedding band while you play. But instead of wearing it on a chain around his neck, which you don't want to do either. His wife, Maddie, I'm sure is watching. Or maybe she's even there. She probably is there. Proud of her hubby. He's having a Absolutely. big game, having a big tournament. 43-40. And there you see the there green is. on that left sneaker. And I'm sure that's the first thing Maddie looks for when she goes to the game. Like, don't leave in your locker. You know how men will do. <laughs> Two-point lead, South Alabama. Crowley on Moore. He's much better. Well, they switched it now. They had him on him initially. Moore working against Arnold. Shovels it up there. Shot won't fall. Good job by Arnold. Just got to push Moore out a little bit, get him yep. out of that range. I think Southern Miss has done a pretty good job of that with him today. He's 2 of 5 shooting. Inside Harris. Takes it up and in. Harris now with 18 points. He's got a double-double. 18 points, 10 rebounds. 7 of 11 shooting, 4-4 four four at the free throw line. Denage Harris has been the secret weapon for Southern Miss today. Great pick, and he thought he was going to get a shot and gave it to him easily. That's when he usually makes. Moore is not hitting that shot today. He had a bunch of them the other day against the Mountaineers. 20 points and 7 assists in that game. Whistle before the shot. Watch Dre Pinkney. He thinks he's going to, well, it's a little late there. He gave it off to him, and Harris scores it. There it is. Pinkney gives it to him. Nice little pass there. Just go up and shoot that rim. And then Pinkney posts up the next time down. They give it to him again. They foul him. Golden Eagles had three players earn all-conference honors. Crowley was first team. Hase was second team. Pinkney was third team. Harris got nothing. He's been the star of the day. Good look right there from Hase. He couldn't pay it off. Tied at 43. Parham on the drive. And the layup went right by Arnold. Turned down the screener up there. Kevin Samuel, defender, didn't know it. And he got a little half step on him. Layup. They were able to beat the Mountaineers on Thursday without him. Knee injury and pregame warm-ups played very little in the second half of that game. But he's been a big factor today, giving him a lift. Boost of energy bats that pass out of bounds. Let's see, you get your shoulders past him, you win. Simple. Not simple to do, it's a simple concept. Four points in 15 minutes, three rebounds for Parham. They're working hard to get hot to the ball. They ran him off two screens last time. This time the foul happened before they could get it near him. Parham whistled for the foul. That's going to be his second personal. And that's going to be the team sixth foul on South Alabama. So Southern Miss is already. Well, Southern Miss is at six. So the next one, both of them are at six. Next one is over the limit. Spin move. Arnold with the left hand. And that was pretty. Second basket. First basket of the day and fourth point of the day for Arnold. Tied at 45. 
First double of the day for Southern Miss. Parham for three. Rebound Arnold. Got knocked to the floor by White. Yeah, he knows he made a mistake. Lost his balance there. Watch right in the middle here. Spins back and spins away from the defender, which happened to be Isaiah Moore. A little push shot from about eight feet. So South Alabama now over the limit. Southern Miss will shoot bonus for the rest of the game. That's three personal fouls now on White. Coach Cardona giving little tips on the defense. It's going to come down to that. I mean, it's been close the whole game. I can't see any team jumping way ahead. Southern Miss back in the lead as Arnold hits the free throw. There he is. Stay down. That's the key to defense. Stay down. Stay in its stance. Tough to do, but you can move much quicker when you're in that stance. Golden Eagles a perfect 13 for 13 at the line today. They lead by two. Well, he's got a little size advantage on him. It's probably why they went to that matchup. Samuel working against Hase. Left-handed hook. And a timeout called by Richie Riley. Samuel's got a size advantage on everybody on the floor. That's why they went to him and got an easy win. It's your teammate. Wow. And he's on top. These other guys, I don't know. They, I've heard of him. It's like I saw their name on Twitter or something. 47 47. Arnold goes around the defense, gets stonewalled. Pinkney gives it up to Harris. He's been the guy today. Hase nearly traveled. Hase will take the shot and miss it. Stolen away. No numbers. Smart move. Nearly stolen. To the low block. Samuel. Left-handed hook. Jack's back on top. It was a good pass, but Samuel did a great job. He backed up as he reached for the basketball. So he was closer to the bucket once he turned. That's a one-footer. He's not going to miss those. We're going down to the wire, partner. Oh, no question. Arnold didn't call an offensive foul, and he hits the bucket. Looks like he threw the chicken wing out there at him. They didn't whistle it. Tied at 49. Got two buckets the same way. The late footers in the lane for the lefty. I go right back to the big guy. Oh, they had him. White, three. Buried it. Owen White again, 20 points. His fourth three-pointer, Jags on top by three. Nine on the shot clock. Hase, only eight points today, got stripped. More layup. Hase's ready to make a little move, but you can't be around Isaiah Moore when you do it. Quick hands and an easy two at the other end by outrunning everybody. Jags have hit their last four shots. They've taken a five point with a ticket punch to the NCAA tournament. We'll have one NCAA tournament ticket punched later today. The OVC championship yep. will be decided between Simo and Tennessee Tech, my my good friend, Coach John Pelfrey. We did a season of basketball together on TV. I watched that game last night. It was a good game. His game. Coach Pelfrey's Tennessee Tech team, one win away from going to the big dance. So pulling for him. He coached in the Sun Belt. He was at one time the head coach of the South Alabama Jaguars. Started his career Look at with this. South gonna, Alabama. Excuse me. They're going to sit on it early. I got Isaiah Moore. I'd sit on it, too. Let him do his thing in the lane. And you got big Kevin Samuel if he misses. What a fake. Oh, wow. Rolled it in. <laughs> Great job by Isaiah Moore, who goes to double figures. Now he has 11. When I used to coach the little kids at camp, if I had one guard, I'd run that play. I'd tell everybody, get out of the way and let him go. They just ran it. Seven-point lead. And here's a big story 
Owen White just picked up his fourth personal foul. Great shot fake head and shoulders and a layup by Isaiah Moore. And you're right, that's the fourth foul on Owen White. Coach Riley's got a big decision to make here. I'd take him out to the under four. You know, Owen White, not only has he had a big offensive game as he did the other day against App State, he has also been guarding the toughest players against the Mountaineers. He spent most, most, most of the second half guarding Donovan Gregory, and here today he's been working against Hase, and he's also been guarding Crowley a little bit. Looks like he's going to roll them. He's getting a break in a minute 42 or under. you got to trust your upperclassmen, and Coach Riley's going to trust him. Hase hits both free throws. That's to be expected. Hase is a 85% free throw shooter. Be interesting to see who Owen White guards next time they're down the floor. If it's Hase, you got to go back to Felipe. No doubt. Same set as before. Let him go. Moore gets into the paint, working against Crowley. Passes out. White, another three-pointer for Owen White. New career high, 23 points for Owen White. Eight-point lead for South Alabama here in the quarters. That's why Richie Riley's coaching, and now I'm, I have a microphone in my head. I wanted to take him out. Well, he's guarding Crowley now. That's a smart move. Just don't put him on Hase. Back to Crowley, open three. Missed it again. And White gets the rebound. He's all over the floor. They're not going to do anything different. Owen White, an All-American at Michigan Tech, committed to Michigan Tech, coming out of high school, out of Rhinelander, Wisconsin High School. He committed to Michigan Tech, coach, when he was a sophomore because he wanted to be a mechanical engineer because his entire family had gone to that school, graduated, and now he's with South Alabama. Yep, he's got his degree. He keeps shooting it like that. Maddie and he are going overseas to make a lot of money shooting threes. Moore at the line, connects, and Southern Miss. Collar's getting tight. Nine-point lead, South Alabama. They don't need to change a lot what they do, uh, Southern Miss. They've got to crash the offensive glass and get good shots. That's a lot of time, five minutes. It's probably going to be ten points, but it's a lot of time. It is a ten-point lead for South Alabama. It's their biggest lead of the day. It comes with less than five minutes to go. You do this in practice all the time. You put one team up four or five. Offensive wow. foul on Arnold. Boy, Isaiah Moore, we said the Stars weren't scoring early in the basketball game. They are now a great, great defense. He knows he's a lefty. He gets on that left shoulder. Watch this position. Oh, it was a chicken wing, wasn't it? Yep, sure. No doubt. Yep, good call. Had a great visit with Coach Jay Ladner yesterday. Just a fine man, super guy to talk to, visit with. You know, he explained, and I agree with him, Sunbelt's not a top-to-bottom conference. It's an east-to-west conference. Everybody's pretty even. And the result, or what's going on, it's not a result yet, but what's going on right now here in this quarterfinal between the 8 and the 1, is strong proof of that. A good free throw shooter with the ball. <laughs> An exceptional in the lane score with the ball. Kevin Sam is going to go opposite. Oh, look at this. Another one. Bam! He did it again! Owen White having a career day. 26 points. Jags are up 13. Stolen. Pull it out. Smart. Richie Riley. If he would have shot that ball, Richie Riley might have tackled him. You think Owen White wants it? Heck yeah. They're going to put Pinkney on him. Isaiah Moore giving him a blow this time. He's, Isaiah Moore's telling him, go. Aram dribbling out there. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Now they got to get something going. Gets in there. Floater. Hit it. And one. I think it's a V. I think it's a V12 Jaguar, and it is purring right now. Watch this. It's Michigan Tech <laughs> putting it on the map, putting South Alabama on the map because they are now three minutes and 41 seconds away from knocking out the number one seed here in the Sun Belt tournament. 
11-0 run for the Jaguars. Rebound Harris going to go up with it and leave it short. And a foul on the floor going to go against South Alabama. If it's Owen White, then he's done. It's going to be on Judah Brown. That's going to be the third personal on him. I would tell Owen White, switch on everything. Don't get near any shooters. We need you on the offensive end. Yeah. We appreciate your hustle and but, battling for rebounds but, and defending, but we need you to stay on the floor. He's a mechanical engineer. He understands if we make three, we can give them three with our lead. Things are getting to the point of impossible now for Southern Miss. Down 16 with three to go. And we got a technical foul. No intentional. I think they fouled Kevin Sam. Yeah, I think it's uh, Tyler Mormon. Number zero for Southern Miss. <laughs> and you hear Coach Ladner? It's intentional. Don't grab them, foul them. They're going to get the shots in the ball back. Well, this is why it's hard to keep Kevin Samuel on the floor because he's just such a poor free throw shooter. It's hard to have him on the floor this late in the game. You heard, as you mentioned, Coach Ladner wanted them to foul him to put him on the free throw line but not commit the intentional flagrant foul because they still get the ball. He might do it again. Hands up in the air and bump him, do something, but you can't just grab him. Stolen away. Door still open for the Golden Eagles. Eight points. A three would be great, and add one would be the way to get it. Crowley got denied at the rim by Samuel. You don't need to make free throws, son. You keep doing that. What a block. Harum putting on a dribbling display, being guarded by Crowley, and there's the foul, and now things are getting a little testy. Richie Riley saying, get away from him. Smart move by Moore, just grab him and pull him away. And you can understand the frustration from the Golden Eagles side. What a block. Kevin Samuel with the huge block right there. You can understand the frustration for Southern Miss, 25-6. and six. It's been a historic season. Most wins in a single season in program history, just the third time they've ever won a regular season championship. And here they are, two minutes and 51 seconds away from being knocked out of the Sun Belt Championship Tournament in the quarterfinals. The finality of being in a tournament, and I was in it for 15 years, different tournaments, of when you get there, especially if you get, we won one and we got to the finals a couple times in Appalachian. When you lose it, it's just boom, it's over, the whole thing's over, it's tragic. Well, you still have the National Invitational True. Tournament as the regular season champion, but... That wasn't the case back for us, but yes, a little right. bittersweet when your goal is to go to the NCAA Tournament. Crowley misses. Crowley gets it back. Misses again. Got fouled. Tell you, when Kevin Samuel doesn't block shots, and I'm not talking about the foul, I'm talking about the first shot, he alters him. You know he's there. I think Owen White just fouled out. Nope. They called it on somebody else. They called it on Para. So Parham right there, number two. Yep. That's the foul right there. Got him on the leg. Crowley misses the free throw. Just been that kind of a day. It's a great free throw shooter, 73 and a half. You really feel bad for Jay Ladner. It's just been such a special season for the Golden Eagles. But the Jaguars have had their number. Beat them by 31 two weeks ago. Their worst defeat of the season for Southern Miss. And now they're going to catch them here and beat them in the quarterfinals too. South Alabama is going to be 
Took it went travel. away from going to the NCAA tournament. Now, the South Alabama team, it's a little bit of a misnomer here, them as the number eight seed. They were one of the, you know, teams picked high. I think they might have been second or third in the preseason coaches poll. I mean, this was a team expected to do very well and, you know, came out of the gate and went one and seven. That's the reason why they're an eight seed. So they played a little possum with the rest of the Sun Belt for the first half of the schedule. Big Kevin Samuel with the quick hands. You know, I'd like to see here foul Kevin Samuel and see him make a free throw. The bench would go nuts if he does. He's not going to touch it. Though. And the basket beat the defense. No one picked him up. Borg scores. 19-point lead. Horse appears to be out of the barn. Hase, shot blocked by White. Why not? He's done everything else. Block a shot. Crowley, way off. Hase inside. Timeout called by Southern Miss. Not a year ago, losing to a Little Rock team that they've beaten by 30 during the regular season. So they're living proof that anything can happen in this tournament and living proof today on the positive side that anything can happen in this tournament is they're going to flip the script on Southern Miss. Timeout called by South Alabama. Well, the hoops thing's working out pretty good today. There's no doubt about that. 17-point lead, South Alabama. We're down to 149 to go. There's not really a whole lot that Southern Miss can do at this point other than hope South Alabama misses free throws. I don't know if you're going to see up there. Can... Parham gets fouled. They'll put Parham at the line. He's an 83% free throw shooter. Jeff Armstrong committed the foul. Team, as you said, started out not the way Coach Riley wanted. They're nine and two in their last eleven, and now they're going to be ten and two in their last twelve. Most importantly, they get to play tomorrow. Well, they're going to advance to the first semifinal of the day tomorrow. They will play the winner of our next game, which is number four James Madison versus number five Troy. How crazy would that be down in the panhandle if South Alabama and Troy, the two big South uh, Sun Belt rivals, meet in the semifinals with a chance to go to the championship game. Hase gets fouled on the shot. Got through the ground up in the air and then smartly went into it to get, to, I think he was he both feet behind the line. Let's check it right here. Yeah, they were, he's gonna get three. So Hase gets three shots. Even with these three free throws, would take a comeback of epic proportions for Southern Miss as they cut the lead to 17. Well, Richie Riley, if they hold on and win this, which they probably will, has a tough task, not because of who they're going to play, but because they don't have a day off like they did after the last win. And you got to calm them down. I don't care how jacked up they are in the locker room, this thing is far from over. You got to calm them down, get some food in them and get him out of the arena. Let your coaches stick around. Maybe watch the first 10 minutes of the game. But get him out and get him off their feet. Well, And the other thing is your opponent's not going to get a day off either. True. In this case, they had a day off. Southern Miss had not played in a week. It had been eight days since they last played. And I think that was reflective in the first six minutes of the game. By, by no means is that the story in this upset for South Alabama. It was the story in Southern Miss's slow start. But this was a tight game. Until this half, South Alabama has blown out Southern Miss, outscored them 46-30 to 30 in this half. Their defense was exceptional, and we just showed the man of the game, Owen White, scoring all over the place. 26 and 6 of 12, 50% from deep. And Isaiah Moore has quietly gotten up close to his per game average. He has 17 now, a solid line score for him. 17 points, five rebounds, and seven assists as Crowley dunks it. South Alabama going to run clock. 
until Southern Miss chases them down and fouls them. They still haven't called the foul. Now here's what I, this is a little bit of a pet peeve as I get on my soapbox right here. Go right ahead. With the officials, they won't, you know, a guy runs out there and touches him. He's trying to get the foul, and they won't call that. And so the, in, in a way, they almost cause the players to go out and, and foul him harder by not calling that foul right away when they're obviously intentionally trying to foul them. So when you don't call that little touch foul there when they're trying to get the intentional foul, the next foul is going to be harder. Which is never called an intentional foul. It's exactly what it is. So Parham hits the free throw. But to me, that only leads to guys getting fouled harder. True. Sure. Hase takes a three, and Parham the rebound, and he gets fouled right away. I would think that's the last time Coach Lavender tells him to foul. And give Owen White, get him a little uh, recognition, taking him out. I would think he ran towards the bench over there. Nope, don't leave me. Owen White, 26 points. Isaiah Moore, 17. Solid line score. Parham got in there and got 23 minutes today after playing about five minutes in the first game. 12 points today, four rebounds. Samuel, 10 points and five rebounds. A few more red shirts in the bleachers, or in the arena, I should say, tomorrow. Samuel ended up with one block and one steal as well. And, of course, Mobile, the home of South Alabama, is the closest campus to this site. So just a couple of hours, even if it's a couple of hours, maybe just an hour. Yep. So South Alabama will probably be well represented in the semifinals tomorrow. Now you enjoy it, guys. Enjoy it on the court. You get in the locker room, forget it. Great enthusiasm on the bench. You can see Coach Riley's son's right behind him. Right behind the yellow part of that sign. They're enjoying it. They should enjoy it. It's, it's, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. They're going to run it out and take the shot clock violation. Yeah. South Alabama will improve to 18 and 15 on the season. Winners in seven of their last eight, 10 of their last 12. They will play in the semifinals tomorrow against either James Madison or Troy. Southern Miss, the regular season champions, eliminated in the quarterfinals. And they are now 25 and 7. Handshakes for the former Southland Conference rivals, now rivals here in the Sun Belt. And Richie Riley gets the better of today's matchup as.